with carbon emissions from the built environment playing an important part in the UK and other countries' carbon emissions. There is a need for authoritative answers on how to manage and reduce the whole life cycle carbon in our buildings and infrastructure. The newly revised PASS 2080-2023 could be that answer. Let's take a look. Welcome to EMS Mastery, where we look at the successful strategies and tactics to master environmental management and sustainability. If we're meeting for the first time, my name is Andrew Marlow. So, the newly revised PASS 2080-2023 could be the answer to how the value supply chain can manage and reduce the whole life cycle carbon in our buildings and infrastructure. Here is a brief introduction to what PASS 2080 is, who it's for, what it covers and why you might want to use it, plus a special link to a free copy of this valuable document later in this episode. What is PASS 2080? The publicly available specification, or PAS for short, has been developed to respond to the fact that the built environment is responsible for most of the UK carbon emissions, with PAS 2080 being the world's first specification for decarbonising buildings and infrastructure systems. It is a guidance document that has been revised from its earlier 2016 version to set out how the sector can transition to net zero by 2050 by managing and reducing whole life carbon in buildings and infrastructure. By using PASS 2080, it has the capability to empower behavioural change by uniting all organisations through a common framework that will help companies maximise the whole life approach to carbon reduction from the earliest origins of the project through to its end of life use. To assist its use, the PASS contains a range of case studies where the standard has been applied and provides worked examples to further assist organisations with the application and integration of PASS 2080. If you're getting value out of this episode, please click on the like button. And if you want to see more environmental and sustainability videos, please subscribe to this YouTube channel. So, who is PASS 2084? It is relevant for a wide range of organisations across the value and supply chain of the built environment, such as asset owners and managers, architects and designers, constructors, product and material suppliers, and regulators and financiers. It should be noted that the PASS 2080 has been sponsored by the Institution of Civil Engineers and the Green Construction Board and been published by BSI. So, what does PASS 2080 do? PASS 2080 specifies requirements for the management of whole life carbon in buildings and infrastructure in the provision, operation, use and end of life of new projects or programmes of work, as well as management or retrofit of existing assets and networks. It helps organisations to understand the impact of their assets in the wider network, revealing its interdependencies and encouraging early collaboration. It helps with 
defining roles and responsibilities, and integrating carbon-focused decision-making and procurement processes throughout the asset life cycle. So why should you use PASS 2080? By following its approach, value chain members across the built environment can work collaboratively towards the common goal of net zero carbon transition and achieve the following outcomes. Reductions in material, energy and labour costs that reduce whole life carbon emissions as well as whole life capital and operational costs. It encourages wider uptake and action on carbon management. And it ensures that carbon is consistently and transparently quantified at key points and shared along the supply chain, aimed at increasing efficiency and reduced costs. It provides demonstration of a commitment to carbon reduction, enhancing reputation, supporting staff recruitment and retention promoting innovations that achieve lower carbon solutions and provides a common framework that can help the sector adapt to a low carbon future, contributing to the UK's achievement of its carbon reduction targets and limiting global warming to 1.5 degrees Celsius in line with the Paris Climate Agreement. It can also help users develop their own expertise in carbon management and to increase confidence and trust in their practice and finally help organizations grow sustainably so what's new in pass 2080 2023 if you are familiar with the earlier 2016 edition then you may be interested in the major changes in the 2023 version, which are it has a extended scope to include all the built environment, buildings and infrastructure with a focus on behaviours and good practice principles intended to complement existing standards and guidance. It clarifies roles in the value chain so that members can be clear about their relationship with the control and influence of whole life carbon in the context of a net zero transition and system level change. It allows for the adoption of an increased emphasis on whole life carbon with alignment to the Paris agreement target of 1.5 Celsius, circular economy principles and addressing the urgent need to decarbonise systems, networks and assets while balancing capital carbon investment with operational and user benefit. It now includes requirements specific to the procurement stage and to aid decision making in projects and programmes of work. And it considers other documents and co-benefits while managing carbon, such as climate adaptation and biodiversity net gain. It provides an emphasis on the importance of leadership, governance and collaboration across the whole value and supply chain and beyond that includes guidance for government regulators and financiers and it also brings together a consistency across the built environment industry to collectively manage whole life cycle carbon and support the net zero transition in harmony with other requirements such as procurement standards and other similar standards and requirements. So how can you get hold of a copy of the PASS 2080 2023 edition? Well, it's available for a free download in the link in the description box below. 
if this episode has helped to advance your understanding of the PASS 2080 in its newly revised 2023 edition, please leave a comment in the box below if this video has helped you. Further information on PASS 2080 2023 and references to all the documents mentioned in this episode are given in the description box below, including a link to the resources on the emsmastery.com website. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel to ensure that you don't miss out on other episodes on environmental management and sustainability. Until then, thank you for listening. If you enjoyed this video, you can watch other episodes by clicking on the boxes in the top and bottom right. And to subscribe to this channel, click on the link to the left. Thank you.